Good day, good day, everyone. All right, uh, let's get right into our revision section. Right, um, I know one of the sections that really give learners heart palpitations is optimization. So I thought that we'd get into it today. I've taken this from uh, the May June exam, twenty twenty three. All right, this is question nine on optimization. Let's get right into it. So they say to us, we've got a a, a wire which is twelve meters long, that is cut into two pieces. They say one part is bent to form an equilateral triangle and the other uh, a square, right? Uh, they say a side of the triangle has a length of 2x meters, right? And now let's try to construct that. Okay, so firstly, right, we've got uh, our triangle, right? So I'm going to try and draw our equilateral triangle, right? Please remember... What do we mean when we say it's an equilateral triangle? It means that all sides are equal, right? But also, please remember that it means all angles are equal, but they are also 60 degrees, right? That may come in handy, perhaps not in this question, but it does come in handy anyhow, right? So in this case, we know that uh, the length of each side of the triangle is 2x. So that means that this will be 2x as well as the other side, 2x as well, right? So now we're left with the, uh, the, the square, okay? So we know we've got a square there. And in our square, right, that will be the, the, the rest of the rope, right? They say to us, write down the length of a side of the square in terms of x. Now, I want you to think about it. So that the, the rope is 12 meters, right? And how much rope did you use to form the triangle, right? You used 6x meters of rope, right? So that means that uh, the length of the square, or of the, of the triangle rather, is 6 meters. So the perimeter of the triangle, okay? So the perimeter of the triangle is 2x plus 2x plus 2x. And in this case, that will give us 6x, right? So now... That means that for the perimeter of the square, right? So the perimeter of the square, okay? We will now have 12 meters of rope minus the 6x that you've used for the triangle, right? So this is the perimeter of the square. However, remember that's the total perimeter. So in this case, uh, of course, uh, we've got four equal sides. So I'm going to divide all of this by 4, right? Uh, if we want to write it, um, uh, so this is 12 divided by 4, that will give us 3, right? And 6 divided by 4, that will be 1.5, or you can say uh, 3 over 2x, right? So that's 1.5x, right? So which means the length of each side of the square, so this is 9.1, okay? So the length of each side of the square would actually be 3 minus 1.5x, okay? Right, so uh, in fact, let me write it. Uh, so the length will be 3 minus 1.5x, or you can say 3 over 2. Right, so now let's get on to the next part. They say if the square is now used as a base of a, a rectangular prism, right, with a height of 4x meters, right, they say determine the maximum volume of the rectangular prism, right, so now they are taking the square and they say we're going to form a rectangular prism, okay, so we're going to have, so there's a square there, oops, okay, I know my square is not squaring, <laughs> All right, so there's what a rectangular prism would look like, okay? Right, so this is, right, okay, oops. All right, so there's our rectangular prism. I know it doesn't uh, really, it's, it's not the best, so we know... The side of the square is 3 minus 1.5x, right? Or we can say 3 over 2, 
uh, perhaps it might be better uh, to express it as 3 minus 3 over 2x, right? So you know also this side is 3 minus 3 over 2x. And they said to us the, the, the height is actually 4x, right? Now we are going to get the volume of this uh, rectangular prism. And what is it? It's going to be the area of the base multiplied by the height, right? So that's going to be the area of the base. And remember, the area of the base is our square, right? Multiplied by the height, okay? Right, so in this case, uh, the area of our square, of course, we've got two, the length and the breadth. I mean, the square has got... Uh, equal sides. So this is going to be 3 minus 3 over 2x, right, all squared, multiplied by the height, which is 4x. All right, now let's try and simplify this, okay, because we want to get uh, this area. They say if this square is now used as the base, okay, with a height of 4x, determine the maximum volume of the rectangular prism. So Let's try and multiply this out. Okay, so inside our bracket, we're going to have 3 squared, which is 9, minus, in this case, we're going to have 3 multiplied by 3 over 2, okay? So that will give us 9 over 4, but if we multiply that by 2, that will give us uh, 9 over 2. So remember, if we square that, we say this multiplied by this and multiplied by 2. Okay, please keep that in mind. So um, if we take 9 over 2 times 2, that will give us uh, 9. Okay, so that will be minus 9x, all right, uh, plus 9 over 4x squared. Okay, so that's multiplied by 4x. So I'm going to multiply the 4x into everything that's inside the bracket. So we're going to have 4 times 9, that's 36x minus 36, uh, uh, 36x squared. All right, uh, this is plus 9x cubed, right? So this is the volume in terms of x. But remember, what are we trying to do? We're trying to maximize that volume. So we're going to take the derivative and make it equal to 0. Okay, I'm going to start from this side. So 9x cubed, right? So jump down and we mine minus 1. So this will give us a 9 times 3, right? That's 27x squared, right? So that's minus, so 36 uh, times 2, uh, that will give us, uh, so 36 times 2, that will give us 72x minus plus, rather, uh, 36. Okay, and this is equal to 0. Right, I'm, I mean, all of that can be divided by 9. So let's try and divide everything by 9. So that will give us 3 x squared minus, okay, so uh, if we say at, uh, 72 divided by uh, 9, that should give us 6, right? Okay, so that will be 6x minus 6x uh, plus, uh, in this case, 36 divided by 9 will give us uh, 4. Am I correct? Uh, in uh, No, I think this is supposed to be 8x, okay, plus 4, and this is equal to 0, right? Okay, so now we are going to uh, take everything and try to get, uh, in this case, the, you know, the, the, we're going to factorize, okay, so this is going to now give us the following. So if we look at that, factors of 3, that's 3 and 1. Factors of 2, that's, let's say, take 2 and 2, let's see. If we say 3 times 2, that will give us uh, 6. Uh, 2 times 1, that gives us 2. And definitely 2 plus 6 does give us 8. So our brackets will be as follows. So that will be 3x and 2 that will be x and 2, 
and in this case we're going to have minus and minus right now if you think of this uh, this would kind of be a parabola uh, i mean a, a cubic function right so if you think of these two points we've got x is equal to uh, 2 over 3 or x is equal to 2 right so we want to know which side would actually be the maximum right so if you think of it as turning points this would have given us a parabola or, or rather a, a cubic function that looks like this okay because the a value is positive right so you start with the maximum value and uh, follows a minimum value right so in this case what we're going to actually end up with is that this guy here would actually be the one that will give us a maximum volume right so this answer here is not applicable you can actually try to substitute them and you'll see that the maximum value uh, the volume will be given by uh, that number there two over three right so remember they wanted the maximum volume so i'm going to take v of two over three right so let's take the original equation we've got a uh, 9x cubed 9 and 2 over 3 cubed right so that's minus um we said we've got minus 36 x squared okay minus 36 times 2 over 3 squared and this is plus uh, 36 x right uh, so that's plus 36 times 2 over 3. All right. So we won't waste much time on this. Okay, let's put that in our calculator. So that's 2 over 3, right, uh, cubed. All right. And we've got minus 36 times uh, 2 over 3, right, and this is square. And this is plus, um, we've got uh, 36 times 2 over 3. Okay, uh, actually, let me just fix that. Right, um, and uh, you can verify this with me, right? So that gives us 10.666. Uh, this is 10 and 2 over 3, right? So that's 10 and 2 over three that is the maximum volume okay right so this would be the uh, maximum volume we weren't given any units um, so i'm just going to say units cubed okay right and essentially ladies and gents that is how the cookie crumbles as i did say this uh, answer x is equal to two even if you tried it you'll see that the volume is not the maximum it's it, it will not uh, be greater than the number 10 and 2 over 3. All right. So I hope this section will not give you any heart palpitations, right? And that you will enjoy it in the exam. Otherwise, I'll keep dishing out all of this content as we continue. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.